Hello guys, welcome back to our video. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you the how to install the latest iOS on your Moto G5 S Plus. So this is my Moto G5 S Plus, guys, as you can see. And let me open the settings. I will show you. So this is my Moto G5 S Plus. Here I have inserted Geo SIM card. So there are some bugs and there are some uh, good features of this ROM are available. So first good feature is you will see the latest standard version guys and this is the official ROM. So you will find here Android 11 which is lat latest one. Till my OnePlus not haven't received Android 11 officially but it received officially. This is not ported by this is not from Moto G5 this is custom ROM in custom ROM they have provided the official support over this Moto G5 S plus and here your NFC works guys Wi-Fi hotspot everything works but your voltage doesn't work when you try to call anyone or when you try to use some apps it doesn't work because you will get internet connection but you won't get any OTP etc so that was the first bad feature of this ROM and here you can customize font and everything works here there is no any issue regarding that ringtone everything works here but another issue i have found is here you won't find any here you won't find any portrait mode in stock camera app so as you can see i am opening the stock camera apk everything works fine here for me but here it, there is no any portrait mode feature for front one so let me show you so this is as you can see i am shooting videos right now and there is no any portrait mode for front camera guys so as you can see here some other modes are available but there is no any portrait mode for front camera so not front and back camera there is no any portrait mode for this device so let me decrease the brightness guys and i think this is adaptive brightness brightness is turned on uh, sorry for that and here there are lot of features available like every custom room in almost every custom room you will find these features like battery server hotspot dark theme dark theme works here there is no any issue regarding this as you can see it is a, a little bit beautiful and here you can turn on nav or etc from here these all are the pre-installed apps i haven't installed any one of them so you can't uninstall them because this is pre-installed and i will provide the link of this rom in description if you want you can install download from there and you can install guys and there may noise in background sorry for that here your fingerprint everything will work there is no any issue regarding fingerprint there is no any issue regarding fingerprint and here you can enable the hardware buttons and gesture button so let me disable the dark mode guys i don't like dark mode it says battery but i don't like dark mode so here as you can see power menu actions etc here everything is available here and you can wake your device with volume buttons here and here you will find some gesture settings like status bar gestures etc power menu gestures so here you can disable these hardware keys you can enable single keys like iphone x or our oneplus devices i will show you where the f that is available so you have to open these settings and you will find in somewhere in settings so i forgot that let me locate that setting as you can see inside the system you will find that feature uh, which is called gestures so here after opening this you will find your system navigation so right now it is three button navigation you can enable it two button navigation as you can see this one and you can also enable the gesture navigation like this so in almost every devices it will be same and here you can see gestures to go home swipe up from the bottom to go home you have to swipe up like this and to switch apps you have to swipe up and you have to do like this so so that you can switch another app and to go back swipe from the either left or right it so it means you have to like this you have to swipe i think so not like that you have to swipe like this guys to go back so this is good one guys you can use but in my case i am using the three button navigation so i i prefer you i recommend you to use this so there are two or three bugs are av available in this rom i hope this will fix it in future and there is good battery backup guys as you can see it gave me i charged it few hours ago and it gave me one hour 10 minutes uh, screen usage as you can see my battery start 
and I haven't charged it 100% I charged it around 85 85 or 87 percent so camera focus so as you can see my battery starts guys there is no any issue regarding battery everything works fine here but here your volt doesn't work so as you can see volt doesn't work guys volt is broken except that volt and camera here everything works fine there is no any issue regarding this fm radio is also working and video call won't work because your sim doesn't support volt so volt means voice over long term evolution so it doesn't support volt hence you can't make video calls or any voice calls so let me show you again so this is my dialer this is my indian geo sim card so let me dial a number so here as you can see it says call ended so let me dial again So as you can see guys there is no any voltage that's why I am able to connect calls. So if there is voltage then you will be able to connect calls. So let me take my redmi note 4 and let me show you. So as you can see I am dialing it from my geo. So as you can see here voltage works there is no an issue regarding voltage. And in this device it doesn't work. So here you will be able to see voltage icon but here you won't be able to see the LT icon. So, volt icon. So it will show LT. LT means 4G, guys. You, your SIM card is 4G. That's why it's showing LT. So there are two bugs only, which is portrait mode in stock camera and your 4G volt. So except that everything works fine, guys. So you can use this ROM as daily driver if you don't use any Geo SIM card. So thanks for watching the video, guys. More change logs I will uh, type in description box so that you can read from there and you can install this from custom record you have to wipe dalvik data system i will i will paste this process in description so that you can install you can follow that process and install the rom so that's it.